All right, the paper's fairly dry now. So I usually call this next thing I do the lay of the land. And what I really want to do with this is um, define where things are on the ground here. So I want to start out with a little bit of green, kind of a bluish green here. And uh, right across here, at least the way this thing looks to me, there's a grassy area. And that pretty much comes all the way out to the edge of the roadway. Right along the base of that jail. Try to get maybe a little bit of yellow in there now. And then this is where that roadway cuts in behind this building. And I'm, I normally don't paint sidewalks, but in this particular case, I usually leave those a light color, but in this case, we want to try to go ahead and indicate a sidewalk here because we don't have a lot of grass or foliage going on down there at the, on the base of this. So I'm just going to kind of paint a kind of a burnt sienna color along the base of these buildings. Just kind of indicate where a where that sidewalk might be. Somewhere along there. Let me make some of that. Whoops, I didn't want to do that exactly. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, maybe make some of this a little bit more of a purple color. Just to add a little bit of variety there. back again with that color. Like so. That would be that sidewalk that's going along those buildings. And then I've kind of got, while well, I've got that on my brush, got that working with these colors, I don't need to worry about this phone pole so much. I kind of have that same situation here a little bit close to me. This can be just about any old thing really. It's kind of a mix of colors there. Uh, I'll get back a little bit more into that burnt sienna maybe up here. Doesn't matter that much at this stage of the game, but this, it's just like, uh, this part of it is kind of like making a note to yourself about where everything is. And they've got a light color sidewalk that comes right across here. That would get matted out anyway, but I'll go ahead and indicate it. Something like that. And then the distant part of this... Okay, so right here, again, I have a, I have this drive that goes in behind here, as I said, that heads back towards the grocery store, the way I remember it. And I should be able to just paint that whole thing there for now. Maybe put a little bit of yellow in that. A couple places. Okay. And then along the base of this building, here, a base corner pocket, there is some grass along here. It kind of gets up on the side of the building, so we'll just kind of indicate that. Runs right along there. I don't care if that bleeds in a little bit to those other colors. And that kind of helps us a little bit with the lay of the land. Now, even though we are going to put a shadow over this later, I also want to put a little bit more color on this roadway. See what happens if I do that. Probably, probably get myself into trouble, no doubt, but I want a little more indication there on the roadway of color because uh, this will help me uh, to define curves a little bit. So we'll see what happens with that. So I want to just stay off that sidewalk just a bit. 
can kind of maybe sort of give, give an indication that if there's, it might be a curve along the edge there. I don't know if there actually is on this particular road, but <laughs> I'm going to do that, do it anyway. And the same thing there. This can be really any color. We just want the tone of this roadway to be darker. And I probably could have used a bigger brush to do this, but it's probably work okay. Just kind of grabbing stuff that's in the palette here. Not really much to that. Some of those colors we put on earlier are showing through there a little bit to help that roadway have a little bit of a glow to it. We don't want that. Uh, we don't want that roadway to appear just to be flat. Now here again. Even with this, I can still put some more color into this wash as well. A little bit of burnt sienna, a couple places. Uh, because that color is showing through fairly well in the distance there, that I'll probably leave alone. Uh, a little bit more yellow. Maybe a red again, like we did before. That's good enough, really. We want to let that dry. We'll be doing some more with that later as well. And we want to put some local color uh, on this building over here on the side. By my eye, that's kind of a yellowish color. Yellowish, brownish, something like that. Again, I don't, I'm not really sure whether we need to worry ourselves with hitting that color exactly. That'll just kind of act as a base color for me there later. I want it to stay fairly light. It's kind of a yellowish brownish color. Again, I don't need to worry at all about the distant part of the building or that foam pole because the foam pole will be darker and it's sort of covering the far end of that building. I think that sidewalk could still be a little bit wet, so I don't want to get pick up too much of that. Now, uh, the only color I really have on this far side is just a touch, and I mean it is very faint. I wouldn't even really need to do this, but on the jail, there's a little bit of color in there, a little bit. So just throw some in there. And then on the roof of Dave's Corner Pocket, that's kind of a, that's almost just kind of a burnt sienna, really. Maybe put, maybe have a little bit of red in there, but there's really not too much more than burnt sienna there. So let's see, that comes across this way. Let's see if I can cut that in okay. And then on up that way, there. And then across here. It's just kind of the roof of that building right there. Get into here again later. So I guess that starts about right there, kind of cuts across. Something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. Let me put a little bit of a dark here on this far end of it. 
just to see what happens with that. Okay. Uh, if I'm careful, <laughs> and I, I probably never am. No, that's still a little bit too wet. I was, I started to say we could probably start putting some of the trees in, but <laughs> maybe I better not. Could get myself into trouble. So we'll turn the camera off there and uh, call that a first wash and come back and start working on the trees. <laughs>